Hello, everybody. So, you know, popping through Twitter, and I found this post, uh, came across this post by Project Makerspace about different ways that you can import uh, SVGs into Tinkercad. And they got a nice little video there um, talking about what they did. And I'll quickly do it and show you. And it made me think some other things. I didn't, you know, really realize uh, the different ways to import, or maybe I did, but forgot them quickly. Um, so, you know, basically they went to the Noun Project, a great place to get, you know, PNGs and SVGs for free. So they downloaded the SVG. Remember, Tinkercad does not import P PNGs. They import SVGs. So I downloaded that whale, and then you come in here to import, choose a file, da, da, da. got a whale, pay attention to how big it is coming in, uh, I think my bed there is 200, so I'm going to go 100, tab over and it you know, scales it accordingly, import, dun, dun, dun. And, you know, the reason you want to do some different things is because it comes in hollow as the picture was, right? Which is not going to print well. None of that stuff is going to be connected, right? So that's, you know, not what you want. Um, obviously, you know, adjust the size uh, dimensions there. I mean, height of 10, that's one centimeter, 10 millimeters. I'm on millimeters. Uh, one centimeter, oh, you know, that's fine. Um, so they went to the idea of duplicating. So basically copy copy that. If you duplicate, it goes right on top of it. If you copy and paste it, so here, duplicate, boom, goes right on top. Um, let's undo that. If you copy and paste, let's see. It goes aside. You can align these to be you know, on top of each other. That'd be fine. Um, you can also just import again. You know, go right on top of where the first one went. Just pay attention to what size you imported it as. So lots of different things there. Um, so let's just duplicate. And now down here is this fill mode. And they mentioned the idea of changing that from default to silhouette. So let's hit silhouette. And let's let it do something. And let's let it, and let's color it. Um, so you don't really notice anything different, well, except that now it's filled in. And that's what Silhouette did. Uh, let's change the height of the Silhouette. I'm going to go over here and go to 2. And it should drop down. See, there you go. More like cookie cutter look now, right? All right. So Silhouette, you know, filled the whole, th you know, all the, shape, all the shapes in and created a solid. Um, so now we've got that nice little cookie cutter like looking thing or just something that's easier to print right because it's kind of um, kind of connected except some of these things obviously these things out here um, I'm looking more at the whale and some of the things that weren't connected inside there obviously if you wanted to connect all this stuff out here you would just put down a rectangular plate um, so they were playing with noun project and noun project is a good when it's free. I was also I often look at um, flat icon, but the problem with flat icon has become I'll just pick one. I went with pandas. Um, PNGs are free, but SVGs are not. I understand they've got to make money to keep the site available. So flat icons are nice place to get PNGs, but not SVGs. So then I was wondering what other sites are there, and you know, I remember there's you know Pixabay. Um, so I went and I grabbed a, this this panda uh, from Pixabay. And I'm going to do panda and play with some other things. So we're going to import our panda. And see, and we never know how it's going to come in. You know, are those blacks and whites going to be solid or hollow? We don't know sometimes. Again, I'm going to pop that one dimension down to 100. Make it fit. Import our panda. You know, what comes in as solid is always the question. And a lot of that came in solid, which is, okay, depending on what I want to do, that's nice. Um, but again, that, you know, those things are not connected. Those eyes are going to fall right out. 
right? So that's you know not really what we want. So I'm just going to go to the other method of import again. I obviously you, like we said, you could just duplicate, you could copy and paste. I'm just showing you different things. Um, I had it set at 100. I'm going to import. But I'm going to import it as a silhouette again. And I'm going to lower it down to 2 millimeters. It has not yet. There it went. Okay. Well, sorry about that. Microphone. Um, so since I moved that, I need to center these back up. Okay. So yeah, so now those eyes are going to um, stay there. Now let's do something else here. Let's put you down to five. Um, now can I do, I'll try this as the duplicate, let's duplicate, but it's going to duplicate you at five, I want to bring you back up for a reason, uh, change your color, uh, but I'm going to do the outer line, and see we get this nice outline which I can change how thin or thick it is. Again, I'm thinking cookie cutter. Um, so we now have that outer line at two. Um, at 10 for the height of it, one centimeter. Two for the thickness of it. And then we've got this other layer down here with the eyes and another layer below there. Um, so you can get some dimension, some uh, 3D with your cookies, right? Um, just some things to play with. So there's silhouette to make a solid background. There's outer line um, to make the cookie cutter room. And then obviously you would group all that to print it. I also did pumpkin. Um, let's click and see what happens. So free download, you know, I get the vector graphic, the SVG. Let's do pumpkin. Import pumpkin. Where's my pumpkin? Here's my pumpkin. And it's in, it, the what's just interesting part. Because of the, di whoa, that was not paying attention to what I just was going to do. I did not pay attention to size, and that's what happens when you don't pay attention to size. So, pumpkin. 100. Um, if you didn't notice, the pumpkin had different coloring on the different sections. And therefore, some of it just dropped out. Okay. Um, so I'm going to change that to outer line. So there it made an outer line that's five thick. I'm going to make it two. And I want to bring that pumpkin back in. And I think I, I think I have to bring it back in because if I duplicate what I have there, I'm just going to duplicate a line possibly. I don't know. So 100, dun, dun, dun. And now I'm going to go silhouette with this part. <laughs> Sorry, my computer's a little, old, a little slow. Hey, like me. What could be the internet? Or could be Tinkercad. Or some combination all the above. So this would be the reason to not import again and again and again, but maybe duplicate. Let's 
Sorry about this. Alright, so we came in, and again, we want to silhouette, bam, and we want to take it down. So there's our pumpkin cookie cutter. Um, so let's duplicate you, but change you to inner line. Let's see what happens if I can just duplicate. Um, so again, there you know the diff there's inner line, so it's getting the inside line of our thing. Uh, but for the pumpkin, and again, I can change that line width. So you got to decide if you want to do inner or an outer line. For the pumpkin, it didn't work. Inner line is not a good idea. Because look at this, how, how thin the stem becomes. So sometimes inner line will work fine. Sometimes you're going to need to do outer line. So and then obviously group them and print them.